morning all here we are going to discuss something about electromagnetic waves so before directly entering into electromagnetic waves first we are making some uh, not about what is mean by a wave and how we can derive a one dimensional wave equation okay so for that first of all it is not that a wave is a disturbance and uh, according to Griffith a wave is a disturbance of a continuous medium that propagates with fixed shape at constant velocity but he also uh, make some modifications that in presence of absorption the wave will diminish in size as it moves when the wave propagates through the medium it will uh, diminish and if the medium is a dispersive medium then the different frequency move with different velocities hence uh, and also the wave amplitude will decrease as we are spreading in two or three dimensions also uh, he mentioned in that standing waves does not propagate at all these are a few familiar things about waves and as per fifth semester electrodynamics syllabus of calicut university uh, the uh, second module dealing with electromagnetic waves and before directly entering into that first we are discussing about one dimensional wave equation for deriving a one dimensional wave equation we are considering a long string held by a tension T which is lying along x axis we are considering a long string held by a uniform tension T and which is along x axis ok when the string is plugged in y direction when the string is plugged in y direction then it begins to execute transverse vibrations like this ok and we are considering a small segment of that vibrating string let we can name this as x and x dash and the x and x dash are separated by a small distance delta x okay then the two tensions the, that is tension at the point x and tension at the point x dash that is the end of this a segment will be in opposite direction at one end it will be uh, uh, directing towards origin and one at the other end it will be moving away from origin okay and we are assuming that theta be the angle made by the tension at x axis uh, made, made by the tension at the point x with x axis theta be the angle made by the tension t at the point x with x axis ok similarly theta dash be the angle made by the tension uh, at x dash uh, with x axis itself ok now this tension can be resolved into two components uh, as per this figure t cos theta is uh, towards left side and or towards minus x direction and t sin theta is uh, towards bottom that is along minus y direction and at x dash t cos theta dash is the component of tension that is adjacent side uh, uh, that is component of tension along plus x direction and t sin theta dash is the uh, component of tension along plus y direction ok now if you want to uh, make what is the displacement at a particular point x at a particular time t let y be the displacement let small y be the displacement made by this uh, string 
at a particular point x at a particular time t then this uh, transverse displacement will be function of x and t that is as we are moving from this point to this the displacement is different along y because this is not equal to this as since we are moving towards uh, as we are uh, changing the values of x this displacement of uh, along y direction will be different also it is time dependent uh, at a particular time this will be the position of x uh, in some other time it may be here it may be here it may be here or some time well, here okay so this uh, transverse displacement is depending upon x and time that is displacement along x direction and uh, position along x direction and time t hence we can write this y is equal to uh, y is a function of x and t okay now what is the resultant transverse force acting in this segment x and x dash what is the resultant transverse force acting this segment x and x dash let uh, we know that is t sin theta t cos theta and t cos theta dash are parallel or longitudinal component of uh, the force uh, but we are uh, looking only on the transverse component t sin theta is in negative y direction and t sin theta dash in plus y direction since this segment is uh, delta x is very small uh, and uh, net resultant force is t sin theta dash along plus y and t sin theta is along minus y then net resultant force can be written as tran resultant transverse force can be written as f t sin theta dash towards up side plus t sin theta towards down since uh, upward side is taken as positive and downward is negative hence you can write this as t sin theta dash minus t sin theta and also uh, t is taken commonly outside and t is equal into sin theta dash minus sin theta okay now when the value of theta is very small theta and theta dash theta and theta dash is uh, you have i have already shown this in figure theta and theta dash is the angle made by tension with x axis and since this uh, if the values of theta and theta dash are very small uh, since the two points are very close to each other and this will be very small and and such condition we can replace sin theta dash is approximately equal to tan theta dash and sin theta is approximately equal to tan theta by uh, making this rearrangement we can say that f is equal to t into instead of sin theta dash we can write tan theta dash and sin instead of sin theta it is equal to tan theta so f is equal to t into tan theta dash minus tan theta but Uh, you know what is uh, a slope is generally considered as tangent of uh, tangent made by that uh, angle theta mm. then tan theta is a slope then the slope at the point x slope at the point x mm. will be dy by dx that is small displacement in y but small displacement x that is dy by dx at x and we know y is a function of f f is uh, depending upon x and t so you can replace this as uh, dy by dx or do f by do x since uh, this we are using partial differentiation do f by do x similarly tan theta dash is also do f by do x but at x equal at x dash at the point x dash this is at the point x and this is at the point x dash again we are substituting both here then f is equal to t into do f by do x at x dash x dash is can be written as x plus delta x minus do f by do x at x okay now do f by do x at x plus delta x or x dash is equal to the slope at x plus rate of change of slope at x into delta x that is do f by do x x plus do by do x of do f by do x into delta x and this is uh, used here do f by do x into x uh, of x plus do square f by do x square into delta x okay 
then f is equal to t into instead of this uh, you have to substitute this equation then dou f by dou x at x plus dou square f by dou x square into delta x minus dou f by dou x at x you can cancel these two terms then the remainder is like this t into dou square f by dou x square into delta x uh, this is obtained purely by considering the tension of this uh, segment x as x dash okay now according to newton's uh, second law uh, generally force is uh, equal to mass into acceleration if we are considering mass per unit volume of that string mass per unit volume of that string is m if m is the mass per unit volume sorry unit length sorry this is uh, i am correcting this m is the mass per unit length of that string then the mass of the segment will be m into delta x m is the mass per unit length then mass of the uh, segment x x dash the length of uh, x to x dash will be delta x length of segment x x dash is delta x then m into delta x will be the mass of that segment then we are using that instead of mass m delta x into acceleration acceleration is uh, d square y by dt square we know dy by dt is the velocity and d square y by dt square is acceleration and based on that m delta x into d square y by dt square will be uh, the force instead of y you can also uh, you can replace this with f since uh, y is equal to f of x comma t then m delta x into do square f by do t square so this is the expression force uh, for force for that uh, force acting on that segment uh, of length delta x here it is obtained from newton's law and this is obtained from con by the consideration of tension okay now since the left hand sides of this equation 6 and 7 are uh, same you can equate the right hand sides then this is equal to t into dou square f by dou x square into delta x equal to m into delta x into dou square f by dou t square you can cancel this delta x then you can find that this dou square f by dou x square is equal to m by t into dou square f by dou t square so this is the one dimensional wave equation you know, uh, we have already studied in waves uh, general wave equation is dou square psi by dou x square equal to 1 by v square into dou square psi by dou t square this is one dimensional wave equation and on comparing these two equations uh, these two equations are of similar form so instead of dou square psi by dou x square here dou square f by dou x square instead of dou square psi by dou t square here dou square f by dou t square instead of 1 by v square it is m by t so from this uh, you can compare this 1 by v square is equal to m by t then v is equal to root of t by m that is within with this velocity the wave is propagating speed of propagation is v is equal to root of t by m okay here t is the tension and m is mass per unit length okay and the solution of this equation uh, is given by f is equal to g of x minus vt will be the uh, wave propagating in positive x direction and g of x plus vt uh, sometimes you can replace g with some other constant x plus vt will be the uh, wave propagating in minus x direction when this term is uh, plus inside this then the wave is propagating in minus direction if this is in plus sorry this, if this is minus then wave is propagating in plus direction okay so in general uh, yeah here are some i have wrote f of x t this is uh, not much clear here f of x comma t that is uh, the solution of this one dimensional wave equation is equal to g of x minus vt uh, for the wave propagating in positive x direction plus h of x plus vt that is the wave propagating in minus x direction since the wave, uh, wave propagation is possible in both direction this will be the general solution where f of x comma t is equal to g of x minus vt plus h of x plus vt okay this is uh, the expression for one dimensional wave equation okay thank you